Hey y'all, it's your buddy Chuck again, and we're back at it on Friday, March 22nd. It's a rainy night in Georgia. And we just got a Wendy's. I wonder if their door's going to be locked. We just accepted a $4 Wendy's. It's just going right over here to these apartments. It'll be easy. I was heading that way anyway. We'll be right in the mix of all the restaurants when we drop it off. It'll be fine. Four bucks. Wendy's. Here we go. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. I got a DoorDash order for Brandon. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. DoorDash? Yes. Okay. For Brandon. Brandon R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you. All right, y'all. We've got Brandon's breakfast baconator in the bag. <laughs> Say that three times fast. And it was 1.2 miles from Wendy's to Brandon's apartment. 1.2 miles, four dollars. Yeah, it's all right. First floor apartment. That's a bonus. All right, Brandon, I appreciate your business, buddy. Hope you enjoy your Baconator. All right, y'all. While I was walking away from Brandon's apartment door, DoorDash rewards me with a high pay offer. Seven and a half dollar McDonald's going four miles. Pretty good deal. I'll take it. Let's see if these uh, first two orders have helped our ratings any. has improved our acceptance rate. We're up to 75% now. But, uh, completion rate still stuck at 95. So, you know, obviously I've unassigned five orders, but I know all five of them weren't recent. I think three of them were recent. Two of those unassigned are kind of old. They ought to be dropping off soon. Maybe when I complete this McDonald's. All right, y'all, our Mickey D's was ready to go. That was a smooth pickup. We're going three miles to another apartment complex right up the road here. This will be a piece of cake for seven and a half bucks. Oh, and by the way, Walmart keeps sending me an $8 curbside pickup with three drop-offs. <laughs> I don't think so, Walmart. I appreciate the offer. Appreciate you thinking about me, but I think I'll have to pass on that. Send me one of them $35 offers like I used to get in the good old days.
right, Lauren, I appreciate your business. Hope you enjoy your McDonald's and have a wonderful day. All right, y'all, just got a $12 IHOP offer. Not a high pay offer because the miles are high. It's 8.9 miles. It'll be about seven miles from IHOP to the customer, maybe six and a half probably. 12 bucks, I'll take it. Get some pancake action, y'all. Is that Mariko? Um, yeah. All right, fantastic. Thank you. It's right on Osborne Road. It's on this road, straight shot. Seven miles right down Highway 40. Cruise on 55. Yeah. <laughs> well, shoot. I was coming to you. I hear you. All right, there's something. There's a bunch of food, and I got an orange juice here in my cup holder. Yes, sir, buddy. I appreciate your business. You, have a good one, Bob. you too. Man, what a nice fella. What a nice guy. He came out to my car, called me by name, came out to the car to get his food, tipped me $10. Now, it's a big order from IHOP, and IHOP's a long ways away from where he lives, but what a nice fella. I think he's nicer than me. Is that possible? All right, y'all, so we just accepted a high pay offer for Papa John's. <laughs> Four and a half dollars going 2.6 miles. Well, Papa John's is in the Walmart parking lot and it was like 10.33 and I was passing right by here. So I accepted the Papa John's for four and a half dollars. And then I went around to the pickup area and got a spark offer. It's 14 bucks for 6.3 miles. Three drop offs, you know, it ain't great. But I figure I'll go pick up this Papa John's, deliver it, go back and get my Walmart order. Eh, we'll see what happens. Good morning, Heather. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Doing good. It well, my phone's acting funny. No, we got this up here. Man, it's all about the same. like 88 or something. Oh, yeah. Good. I'm not quite there yet. You shouldn't be driving. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Heather. You too. Whoa, don't back into me. Oh, people are acting like idiots today. All right, a mile and a half to deliver the pizza and five minutes till we're supposed to pick up our Walmart order. Looks like we might be a little bit late. Crazy now. Hey, are you Kelsey? I am. All right. There's your drink. Let me get that set of this bag. How you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. 
I appreciate your business. Of course. Stay dry out there, man. <laughs> All right. It is getting a little dangerous out there. Two and a half dollar tip. Thank you, Kelsey. Now let's start our trip on Spark right on time. And in just a second, in about one minute, we'll be there and we can confirm arrival. We're not going to be late. What was this spark order? Like 14 bucks for three drop-offs? Boy, what a terrible order. <sighs> oh. Liquid debris in my USB port. What? Oh man, it's gross out here. I don't know. I want to keep doing this. All right, y'all, it's half a mile from Walmart to the first drop off. <laughs> I think it's the one I got in the front seat with me. Dropping off first, right here. All right, she wants me to ring her doorbell. I always forget that kind of stuff. All right, Miss Williams, appreciate your business. Have a wonderful day. The order that's way back in my hatchback, I'm 99% sure it's customers I've delivered to 20 times probably. DoorDash, Spark. Let's see if that's where I'm going. them they live on like fifth street in St. Mary's. Yep, fifth street. I was right. Know right where I'm going. Royals, I appreciate your business. Have a wonderful day. Whew. All right, 1.2 miles to this here third drop off. been 16 minutes so far. So it'll be over with in just a minute. Rivera family, I appreciate your business. Hope you have a wonderful day. All right, y'all, we just accepted a high pay offer for wasabi sushi, and that should put us over 50 bucks in two hours. 
Here we go to Wasabi Sushi. They're pretty slow. Probably going to be waiting a while. I might even get a spark offer while I'm there. <laughs> it's in the Walmart parking lot. Let's go get some raw fish action, y'all. Hi there. A DoorDash order for Dennis J. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. I don't know if this has ever happened to me before. I was reaching to touch the arrived at store button for wasabi sushi and just as I was touching it it changed into an accept button for some stacked order <laughs> for something they added on to wasabi sushi um, no idea where I'm going how much it's paying how many my no idea couldn't get a screenshot it just as my finger was touching the arrived at store button it changed into an accept button. So I accepted something. <laughs> um, you know, I've, I've looked since, and I see that I'm going to the Vietnamese place up here, J.A. Pho. But I don't know what it's paying, how many miles it's going, what direction it's going. I know that this sushi is going west. And, I mean, it's only 11.30. <laughs> I've only been at this two hours, but... I wouldn't mind going home. It's raining like crazy. People are driving like idiots. They're standing water on the road. Some hydroplaning all over the place. I wouldn't mind heading on home. I wonder how much I'm getting paid for this pho order. Give it a second, no, 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 no. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye bye. Well, y'all, change of plans. I was gonna deliver these two DoorDash orders that are going west and then head on home. No, Walmart just offered me $43 for a curbside order, just like the one I just did for $14. In fact, fewer miles. <laughs> I, I don't know, I just I just hit accept. Uh, it's 43 bucks, y'all. This might put us over 100 bucks for the day. And we've been at it for two hours. <laughs> Thank you, Walmart. All right, Dennis, I appreciate your business, brother. Enjoy your sushi and have a wonderful day. y'all it's a real shame that I accepted this one order by mistake that they added on to the sushi the Vietnamese it's going five miles west then I got to turn around and go back to Walmart to get this $43 curbside pickup order See if I can figure out how much it's paying me. It might show me now. If I go back to that screen. Well, y'all, I couldn't get the camera to work. 
I couldn't get it to turn on when I was dropping off that Vietnamese food. So I just had to go. I'm running late. But uh, I figured it out. The battery just had popped out a little bit. I just had to push the battery back in. Bummer. Anyway. All right, y'all. So we're done with DoorDash for the day. They said we made $45 in an hour and a half. Um, plus we did a $14 Spark order. So that's $59. And now we're on our way to do a $43 Spark order. So 102 bucks. It's been two and a half hours right now. So, you know, it'll be three hours or more. No idea whether these spark drops are going east or west. I hope they're going west. That would be sweet. But man, we're 5.7 miles away from Walmart and we're nine minutes late right now. So, you know, gonna be another one of those late arrivals. What can I do? I couldn't unassign the, <laughs> the DoorDash after I had it in my car already. All right, y'all, it is 12 noon. We're sitting in parking spot number one. Just checked in, waiting to get loaded up, make $43, 102 bucks for a three hour shift probably. Man, what a day. All right, come on y'all, let's get loaded up. Let's see how horrible this is. Oh Lord, Patterson's going to the third floor. Third floor apartment for Patterson. That's the biggest order in the back. Good grief. It'll be all right. That order fit into two catering bags. Hey, Miss Patterson. Yes. Let me get you to sign right there. Oh, thank thing. you so much. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Um, you come in. Well, I'll do it however you like. You, any way you want. Are you just hand it to me or the kitchen Okay. Well, we'll just start unloading this stuff. All right, we appreciate your business, Ms. Patterson. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, sir. Thank you sir. You're welcome. Bye-bye. What's that? Um, do you ever have a cigarette? In the car, I do. Do you? <laughs> but I mean... It's okay. It's all right. Never if you want to come all the way down here, you're welcome to one. Thank you. It's menthol. <laughs> I just don't know if I can climb these stairs again. No, no, no. I'm old. I don't know for sure, but I think maybe you can on the I app. Think there is. I think you can adjust the tip if you want to. <laughs> well, I. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to quit. I've quit a hundred times. Me too. Get in there. <laughs> Thank you so oh, you're welcome. Have you just recently moved in? Um, a few months ago. A couple months ago. Here, take three or four. Oh my gosh, 
God, no. I'm amazing. I'll take two. I got a carton at home. Oh. Okay, I'll take three. <laughs> You're amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Have a great day. I'm uh, well. They call me Charles in the app. I'm Chuck, but you too. All right, Scovilles, appreciate your business. You all have a wonderful day. All right, y'all, two down, one to go. This little one up in the front seat with me is last. Lakes Boulevard East. So that'll be right off of Gross Road, which means I'll just go straight at the traffic light up here. And we'll be good to go. This is awesome. I think I'm gonna have this dropped off in time for this to be a three hour shift. not it'll be three hours and five minutes or something probably just call it three hours gonna be close enough yep straight through the intersection up here Rhodes family, I appreciate your business. Have a wonderful day. All right, y'all, that does it for Friday, March 22nd. I'm excited. We had a great day. It was raining, and it was raining money. <laughs> we, uh, Y'all, we worked three hours. I mean, it might have been three hours and five minutes. But it was right at three hours, y'all, and we made $102. Man, what a fantastic day. <laughs> that was awesome. Now, Spark, uh, I mean, uh, DoorDash was good to me. DoorDash was sending me decent offers, um, some high-paying offers. That stack wound up being $17 that I did the last two DoorDash orders that I dropped off, they were, that's I can figure they were eight and a half dollars each. Wasabi Sushi and J.A. Pho. So that was a $17 stack. And my plan was to drop that off and go home with uh, $59 in two hours or something. You know, so it was going to be a great day either way. But then we got that $43 spark curbside pickup and uh, <laughs> and the, the one young lady the first uh, the first drop of that last order spark order she uh, <laughs> she just thanked me over and over again and then as I was starting to walk down the stairs she said can I ask you a question <laughs> and I said sure and she said you wouldn't happen to have a cigarette would you <laughs> I said, well, I've got some down in the car. She was on the third floor apartment. I said, I've got some down in the car if you'd like to come down. I said, I don't think I can climb these stairs again. So she came down, and I think she took three or four cigarettes from me and asked me if there was a way to increase my tip on the app. And I said, I don't know for sure, but I think there is. So we'll see tomorrow. 
if I if I remember to look, pay attention, see if she gave me some kind of extra tip for giving her three or four cigarettes. <laughs> anyway, y'all, what a great day. Like 33 bucks an hour, basically. Man, I wish that could happen every day. Anyway, y'all, thanks for riding along with me. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting. I really do appreciate it. Y'all stay safe out there. We'll see you tomorrow. Out on the